Hey guys, yeah, I wanted to do this quick little video because I just saw an article, and this is uncut, unscripted, and on the fly, but, but anyway, I saw this article on Facebook, and it's not just the only article that's talked about this. I mean, there's been reports in the, on the news, you know, through Facebook and Twitter, which, oh, by the way, is really going <laughs> to uh, have to change their tone, apparently, because... Uh, the president just sent an executive order saying, uh, yeah, you block free speech, you're, you're pretty much in trouble, or something like that. So anyway, getting back to the point, I've been seeing this article online various times, different versions of it. Ba basically people debating whether or not masks should be worn in and out of public or wherever. And I think, you know, it is a very good question of to be or not to be when it comes to it. I mean, to be should you and not to be should you not. <coughs> it's a very good question. Very debatable question. You know, because everybody sees, you know, speaking of our president, sees that at most times he doesn't wear one. There are people that I work, there are customers that come around in our store, many if you will, half sometimes of those that we allow in um, for the time being that don't wear masks. They don't, you know, wear masks. They, the adults, the, the kids, even the babies, none of them wear masks. Not even the senior citizens who are the most receptive of this virus wear masks, nor do they wear gloves. <coughs> However, you could definitely tell those that do. Heck, you could tell those that do that kind of overdo it. And when I mean overdo it, sometimes they'll wear what's known as those beehive-like masks or something like that. Hats and mask combos that, you know, harvesters, that are harvesting uh, honey and all that from the bees, the bee farmers that they wear. Sometimes they'll wear that. Sometimes they'll wear, you know, stuff from head to bottom that makes it look like their own interpretation of a hazmat suit. You know... You know, you have people like that, you know, wearing all this kind of stuff. And sometimes people just wear the mask. Sometimes people just wear the gloves. You know, and it's their choice. Sometimes you'll even encounter people that will just wear the gloves and the mask. But will even go as far as to ask you to clean up an area that they're going to utilize. Mostly if it's self-checkout or even at the check lines. You know, the register lines. They will ask you to clean up certain areas before they put the stuff down or before they even touch it. Which, with all due respect, kind of shows, and this is all due respect, that they're kind of germophobic. They have a phobia of they get germs on them, they're going to get sick or they're going to, you know, be worse than that. And again, that's perfectly understandable. It's perfectly understandable that people are like that, especially now. But getting back to the debatable question, you know, should you or should you not wear a mask? But like I said, you know, getting back to the question of should you or should you not? And again, it's a very good question going back and forth. But I think the reason this question, this topic gets asked and debated is because a lot of people are getting mixed signals as to why the masks are here. Why people are um, asked to wear masks at a, you know, are recommended or at least asked through a recommendation to wear a mask. Or if they go someplace, like if they work someplace, they're mandatory to wear the mask, you know. You know, everybody I think is getting mixed signals about it. And the mixed signals is understandable because you see a lot of people doing this and you don't know what to believe or who to believe. Like, who's telling the truth, who's not telling the truth. And here's the, here's the deal. If you pay attention honestly to what some people do say, yes, the masks are important to have. But they're important to have so that you don't get sick. In other words, if you have something, but you're still determined to go out, even if you should be quarantined or whatever, the mask are for you to wear so that others don't get sick. 
so that whatever germ you have or sickness or virus, it gets caught in that mask. Now, you might say, well, why do people that don't have anything wear it? Well, that's a good question. Sometimes it's because of the fact that, you know, well, the way people see it is like this. Even if you don't have anything, you wear the mask so that you don't. That's pretty much it. If you're going to go into a public area and you notice that some people don't have the mask on, especially during a situation like this, you don't know what you're going to encounter. So the mask being utilized or being worn by people can be looked at two ways. One, probably the most logical, if not the most truthful way, from what I understand and from what I've heard, is to make sure you, the person that don't have anything, don't get sick. The mask are rec recommended, right, are recommended straight out for those that have something, and that of those that have something, like especially what's going on now, they don't spread it. Especially if you're going to be close in close proximity with each other. I mean, this is why they put the six feet rule out there or the 15 foot rule. Basically because they know not a lot of people are going to agree to wearing these masks or wearing gloves for protection. They know a lot of people are gonna be close to each other, which is why they recommend, if not make it mandatory, to wear masks. I mean, as time goes on and things get more normal, yeah, they're going to probably strongly recommend wearing masks as until maybe the end of the year when a vaccine is finally brought to the forefront, hopefully, and it will be from what I understand, and distributed to everyone around. So that way, whatever this is, you know, even though it may not, may or may not go away, won't be as um, in inferential as it is now or contagious as it is now. But when you look at masks and why people debate whether or not they should be worn and you hear all these different messages or you hear all these different answers and getting all these different mixed signals, the, fact, the, bottom, of the, the, the bottom line is this. <clears throat> the bottom line is this. The masks are looked at two ways. Primarily, it's for those that are sick to wear them so that those that are not sick won't be, you know, given the disease or the virus. They won't be given it. Secondly, secondly, if you look at it the other way, when people that don't need to wear, wear it, it's so that they don't get sick, period, just in case someone that is sick isn't wearing nothing. But it's also looked at, but then you look at it from a third perspective and that third perspective is basically as crazy as it sounds because of places like where I work here and people are in close proximity with each other that's why masks are recommended if not mandatory to wear because you don't because even if a place like this recommends a six feet to 15 foot rule you know not a lot of people are going to abide by it you're going to have people side by side back to back and all that, which is why you have people constantly wearing masks. Even those that don't need to wear them are wearing them. Now, are they necessary to wear? Well, like I said, depending on whether you have something, then yes, it is necessary for you to wear it so that, you know, you don't give it to somebody else. And yes, it is necessary to wear if you don't want it or if you don't want to catch something and you want to have some kind of protection. It is necessary. But the fact is, deep down, it's more about those that do have something from spreading it to others that they're the ones that need to wear it, not those that don't have anything. But when it comes to public places like this, yeah, it is recommended, if not strongly, if not strongly necessary, if not mandatory, to wear because of the fact that everybody's in close proximity. I mean, you think about it this way. When Disneyland and Disneyland, Disneyland and Walt Disney World open, do you not think they're gonna strongly recommend people wear masks? Of course they are. Do you not think the guests that show up at these parks when they reopen 
are not going to be wearing masks, knowing that those that show up along with them probably won't be wearing them? Absolutely, because they don't want to take a chance. They don't want to have to sit by somebody on a on a ride on a roller coaster, if you will, that you know, you know, that doesn't is not wearing a mask and probably uh, risk the chance of catching something in their mind or in their mind risk catching something, so they're going to wear one. They're going to wear a mask, so that way they don't catch anything. You kind of get what I'm saying. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm rambling and I'm drawing str and I'm reaching and drawing for straws here and all, all that, but the truth of the matter is, yes, what's going on is serious, and yes, wearing mask is important. But the fact is, when you look at it from two, if not three perspectives, the first and main perspective is we've got to remember, the masks are recommended for those that already have something for them to wear so that they don't spread it to others, others that may not want to wear the mask. And then, on the other hand, you have those that don't have anything, but they still wear the mask because they don't want to catch anything. In, in, because they don't want to catch anything in case someone that does have something isn't wearing nothing. And from the third perspective, from the third perspective, you're looking at the fact that when you have, when you work in an environment like where I work, it is strongly recommended, if not mandatory, for you to wear it because nobody is going to be able to abide by that 6 feet to 15 foot rule of social distancing to slow the spread. So that's why when it comes to masks, people in my opinion are debating whether, whether, whether to wear them or not to wear them. Especially when it's a hot day like this, you know, you wonder should you wear it or not because it could make things a lot harder and for you to make it a lot hotter. It could make things a lot harder for you in the long run, like breathe, hard to breathe, stuff like that. So, but yeah, in the end, it is, in my opinion, uh, it is, but in the end, it's still a debatable, you know, topic and a debatable question uh, to be discussed and all that. But I thought I'd just throw my two cents in there and give you my thoughts on it from what I understand. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. I gotta get back into work. And I am out. Peace.